is our grandson on the autistic spectrum. Very early, our little man began to recognise every number. Would he be good at maths? We began to wonder. He could count down from five to one. And this was even before he was able to say, Mum. And frustratingly, we do not know what he feels with a brand new car turned upside down to spin the wheels. Another present of a toy car, which is fine. To him, it's just another one to add to the line. Just recently, we bought him a transporter lorry, only for him to drive it into the sofa and then say, sorry. If only he did this just the one time, but after 50 crashes, is this really fine? He has a fascination with washing machines. So we got him a toy one and pretended that it cleans. He spends ages playing with his new domestic appliance. However, it's always the same routine. To him, it must be science. Often, he will repeat words or a phrase. In his mind, TV adverts are hard to erase. For PPI claims, contact Gladstone Brooks. But continually saying it in Tesco certainly gets some looks. Hot off the press is the latest news. All of a sudden, he has a fixation with his shoes. We do not know why or what has got into his head, but every night he just wants to wear them in bed. A simple task of going for a haircut or cutting his toenails. Always a meltdown with screaming so loud it's off the scales. Trying to explain to him it has to be done for his own good. Afterwards, there's a big smile and a thank you. We must have misunderstood. As of yet, there has not been a diagnosis of autism. The fact more people are aware has certainly given us optimism. But at the end of the day, our grandson is happy, loving and gives us so much joy. We will not change a thing about him. He is our very special little boy.